Article 36, shall the Town of Hampton vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to convey to the Hampton School District upon such terms and conditions as the Selectmen may determine are appropriate and in the best interests of the Town, all of the Town's right title and interest in two separate vacant parcels of land, the first commonly known as the Arnold property, tax map 161-51, which has been under leased to the town of, excuse me, under leased to the Hampton School District for the purpose of an off-street bus loading unloading area in accordance with Article 43 of the 1988 Annual Town Meeting, and the second commonly known as the Martell property, a part of tax map 176, lot 14, subdivision may be required, over which the Hampton School District has an easement for a travel lane also in accordance with said Article 43 from the 1988 Annual Town Meeting, both located on Academy Avenue. These conveyances are contingent upon the successful passage of the currently proposed bond issue for renovations to the Hampton Academy and the carrying out of that project and are further to be made subject to a reverter of title to the Town of Hampton of said parcel should they no longer be needed by the Hampton School District for school district for school purposes. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 36? Moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Ms. Woolsey, would you like to speak to Article 36? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I had the distinct pleasure of serving on the advisory committee for Hampton Academy that was set up by uh, SAU 90. A remarkable committee, a remarkable cross-section of people, and I am very proud of the product that they came up with. Uh, we do need to support renovating the academy. One thing that I was concerned about uh, with this article is the town land, which is the purpose of the article. If the academy bond passes, then we will be able to uh, give the land to the SAU 90 school district for their permanent use. If the article should not pass, and I truly hope that's not the case, then that land will revert to the town. I don't want to be giving away town land unless it's for a specific purpose. So I'm very pleased uh, with this article. Uh, I will say that my oldest son used to deliver the Portsmouth Herald to the two properties <laughs> in question a long time ago. And uh, I think that this is a very good way to, to solve the problem, to help the school district, and ultimately to help the young people in the community. Thank you, Ms. Woolsey. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 36? Mr. Kravitz, you come to the podium, please. So to Ms. Woolsey's point, while well, Mr. Kravitz is coming to the podium, uh, out in the hall, may still be there, were plans uh, of the Hampton Academy uh, renovation, the bond, and um, I hope you had a chance to look at those. If they're still there, I hope you uh, take a moment to look at those before you leave. Uh, and Principal O'Connor was here earlier, and uh, Mr. Lassard is here, and um, I think they may be able to answer questions that you might have about it. Mr. Kravitz. Yeah. I, the reason I want to speak on it is SAU 90 came before the budget committee. They say that they, they hired an engineering comment company to look at, look at the possibilities of rehab or new construction. I went to a meeting at the academy where they spoke and I totally agree that the academy is inadequate the way it's structured now. But what I suggested was at that meeting that they consider building onto the Center Street School. Center Street School is the oldest public school building in New Hampshire is tied to the recreation land. There's a baseball diamond. There's all sorts of fields. If you put the re if you rehab the academy, the the site's too small to begin with. The, the, they, they don't really have a playing field. You know, it, it made more sense to me. You've got the, they own some land on Talfar Road that, that they didn't want, which I can understand. But to it seems to me that it would make more sense to build on behind the Center Street, tie it into the Center Street School because they just poured another half a million dollars into it last year. You know, you could build a, a beautiful facility there, brand new. The engineers said uh, they recommended a rehab. Yeah. 
for thirty-seven million dollars. Yeah. I so, Mr. Out Kravitz, the um, meeting that I understand your point. So we have at the junior high. Yeah, let me jump in. Yeah, okay, Th that's, but it ended up costing four million yeah. more. That's going to be uh, okay. Something that you, all of us, will be able to vote mm -hmm. on on March eighth, and um, and certainly probably be a, a topic of a great deal of discussion at the uh, Hampton School District's <laughs> annual meeting, which I think may be Tuesday night. Um, uh, this coming week. So uh, for our purposes, Article 36 um, leverages off of that only to the extent that if it passes, then if this Article 36 passes, uh, certain parcels of land will go to support that uh, renovated uh, addition. If it fails, uh, it won't. And uh, if this article fails, it won't. So those are our options. Um, seeing no further discussion on Article 36, we're going to move on.